Hi, I'm Mark Millar, and I'll be reading Ilya Kaminsky's We Lived Happily During the War. And when they bombed other people's houses, we protested, but not enough. We opposed them, but not enough. I was in my bed. Around my bed, America was falling. Invisible house by invisible house by invisible house. I took a chair outside and watched the sun in the sixth month of a disastrous rain in the house of money, in the street of money, in the city of money. In the country of money, our great country of money, we, forgive us, lived happily during the war. So the images that stand out to me when finishing this is the juxtaposition of the bombing of the houses and then also the speaker's happy state that he's living in. And the, the, the title of the poem immediately draws attention to that, stating that we lived happily during the war, but then the first line, the use of the word others, draws the attention on that, that other entity. And I assume it's Russia and the Cold War, but I mean, I'm not sure about that. But just the idea of the other versus the we. Just the juxtaposition of those two words draws attention to how a war can tear, you know, two sides apart. And then one side, you know, the we side in this sense, you know, they can live happily and they can live comfortably and they can have this house of money and the street of money and the city of money and a country of money while this other one is being bombed. And then the we again, uh, Kaminsky draws on the we and talks about how there's protests and there's, um, there's opposition, but it's never enough. It's not enough. And then he's sleeping comfortably, but really struggling with how these invisible houses are being brought down and how the war is ravaging this other and his side, the we, is living comfortably. I'm, I'm thinking that because Kaminsky, it sounds like a Russian name, he's really torn between being living in America, being an American citizen, but also having these Russian roots and, and what it means to be both the other and the we at the same time and what it means to really empathize with both and how an individual can, can respond to that and how they can live in that world. That's all. Thank you.